This tutorial will teach you how to create a Google site for your Dominican digital portfolio. To do this, we ask that you sign in to Google Chrome with a personal Gmail account. You can use your Dominican student email address, but please be mindful that if you choose this option, you'll have to transfer ownership of your Google site to a personal Gmail account by the time you graduate. To navigate to Google Sites, you're going to click on the Google Sites app up here. If it's your first time using a Google Site, you might have to navigate just by searching Google Sites in the search bar. You can start with a blank site, or you can use one of these templates. As we're creating a digital portfolio, I'm going to use this portfolio template as a jumping off point. The first thing we're going to do is name our Google site with our first and last name. Next, we're going to build the basic Dominican digital portfolio structure. Click on the Pages tab up here in the top right. Digital portfolios follow this basic structure. An About Me page, an Education Plan, I'm going to click this plus button to create a new page and title it Career Plan. And lastly, I'm going to create a page for student work. To create our site's URL, we're going to click the Publish button for the first time. We recommend creating your URL simply with your first and last name. If your first and last name is already taken, feel free to add a hyphen, a middle initial, or a number. When you're done, click Publish. Welcome to your new Google site. As you continue to add and personalize this website, be mindful that none of your changes will be saved unless you click the Publish button when you're finished. You're more than welcome to work in an unpublished mode, and your changes that you make to your site will be saved to Google Drive the same way they would on a Google Doc or a slides presentation. Nobody that you share your URL with will be able to see any of your changes unless you've hit the Publish button. Have fun building your digital portfolio on your new Google site.